Hey, hey, what's going on YouTube? Paul Warnock, Bluegrass Iron. I'm going to do a little quick video tonight. Uh, I got Mark Bell's slingshot today. Um, there it is. I am going to try this out um, and I'm going to explain to you guys. Um, using a, a lift aid uh, is not, it's definitely not for everybody. Um, and I definitely think you should time, you know, when you use it. But the reason that I'm using it is because I've kind of plateaued on bench press a little bit. Um, I'm trying to, to work on my form a lot. And with this, it really helps you keep your elbows tight. Um, you, obviously, you, your goal is to keep your elbows tight to your sides. Um, keep your that little bridge in between your back and the bench. Feet planted. Ass on the bench. And, you know, you want to use as much momentum as you can to, to drive that weight up. But you don't want to have shoulder pain. Um, and you will if your form is, is jacked. And you want to keep your elbows really tight. So that way you can go down slow and explode up. Um, and, and this has gotten really good reviews. So I'm really anxious to try it. So I ordered one. And it came today. So I'm not going to film my whole chest workout. Uh, I might throw a couple extra things in there. You know, just to, to show you guys um, what I do on my heavy chest days. Um, but I'm excited, man. We should, uh, this should be a pretty good video. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, I've done my warm up sets. I'm gonna give this a try here. This is what it is right here. It definitely helps, you can definitely feel it. It helps you get over that edge. So, I'm gonna use this for a couple more heavy sets and see if we can get our weight up a little bit. But, it really helps you feel what that kind of weight would feel like on the bar. You know, it gets you acclimated to handling that kind of, stabilizing it um, and managing it. So when you do try it without it, uh, you won't lose your balance and, and drop it. So. Alright, here's my second set with the slingshot. I am going to use the Smith machine because I don't have a spotter. Um, so try to save the hippie comments. I would normally do a regular bench, but I'm not trying to snap my shit up in here. So here's my second set. All right, here's set number three. I've never tried this much weight here before. And I'm by myself, so it's kinda, it's kinda scary. There's three plates on each side. I know normally that would be 315, but I don't know exactly what it would be now that this is a Smith machine, but either way, it's a shitload of weight for me. Wish me luck.
All right, this is my last heavy set, and then I'm going to burn out at uh, a mediocre weight um, just for reps to, to get that burn. My chest already feels tight just from doing that amount of weight, but I added a 10 to each side. So there's three 45s and a 10 on each side. I'm going to see if I can muscle this up. Well, that was hard as shit. I didn't think I was gonna get it. Woo! This thing's a real deal, man. It really does work. I really didn't think I was gonna get that. But man, I, fe I felt it. I felt just all the tension that it was putting on my, the muscles, the triceps. All right, so I'm done with bench. I'm gonna do some incline dumbbell press. We're gonna do four sets. Um, I'm using heavy weight for me. I'm using 70s. Uh, the highest I'm gonna go up to is 80. Um, and I'll probably do sets of five. Um, three to four sets um, of five reps. And then I'm gonna do some uh, biceps. Um, I'll do regular incline curls um, on this machine, or on this bench right here. And then I'll do some uh, cable curls with the uh, cables here. And uh, then I'll do some chest flies, um, four sets, uh, five reps. And then I'll do some regular easy bar curls. And then I'll call it a day. I don't want to make this video uh, 10 minutes long because I know that you all get bored easy. So I'm going to do this. And uh, I'll see you guys when I'm done. Don't go anywhere because. I want to tell you about the slingshot because my chest is all kinds of tight. Hold on just a minute, I'll be done in. Well, that's it for this one. That was a workout, boy. Wow. That slingshot, it works so well on overloading your muscle. I felt like my, I didn't have any pain in my shoulders. I felt like the, the muscles that I wanted to target got targeted and it exhausted them. The technology that they use is the exact same technology that they use to make bench shirts and it isolates those muscles so well. I have a super pump right now. That's what uh, 
Mike Rashid would say at least. But man, two thumbs up to the slingshot. And uh, you guys stay powerful, man. Thank you for all your support again. I'll keep filming as long as you keep watching. So I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to follow up this workout, by the way, with uh, two scoops of protein, uh, just whey protein. <clears throat> and I might have a carb shake. But like I said, it's pretty late. Uh, it's 9.30 uh, p.m. right now. I work night shift, so uh, I'm going to do a video on, on how to keep up your macros on a night shift schedule because I've never seen anybody do it. So you guys stay powerful, man. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.